Yo, what's up, y'all? Say, man, I was talking to one of my Christian friends, and he was talking about how it was it was a thing over tongues, right? And he was he's uh hanging with people that disagree with him about tongues, and he's like. I understand what he means, but he said he made this comment. He's like, well, what's the big deal? He said, it's not something that can separate the body. So why should I? I'm like, he ain't afraid to debate. He ain't afraid of none of that. But he just asking, like, is it something that can separate the, the body? And I'm like, well, it could. People don't understand how serious this topic is because of the, it's, it's the, pe the people that do it. They, it's, it's what else do they do? Most of them. Do a lot of other things Man I had just seen a documentary Or some of it By I don't know how I, how I missed this Man I've been saved since 1998 And I don't know how I missed this documentary Of uh This guy This shows you the danger in The Pentecostal movement And the tongues talk and everything like that His guy named Go Man let me stop it Let me look at this guy's name I don't know how to pronounce it Marjor Gardner, M A R J O R I E Gardner. Well, homeboy was for, he, this documentary came out in the 70s, right? He was somebody, tall white guy with curly hair. Uh, he, he made a documentary because he was tired of fooling people. He was tired of doing it, right? Not because he felt bad or nothing like that, he just wanted to stop. Well, he made a documentary about how he's faking it and how he's just doing it for money and how his mom and dad trained him. My man was like six talking about Jesus and healing and, 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 and collecting money for his parents and things like that. And say, man, not a lot of things surprised me. That, that stunned me. A lot stunned me, but because I, I always knew it was fake, but man, it just shows you how deep some go. And they got a one scene where the guy he's on stage, and look, it sounds just like Kenny Copeland's. It sounds just like all these other faith healers and all these other people. Then they got a guy preaching with him, right? Older guy. And they, they doing the whole thing, man. They, they, you know, bless this, bless that. And they cut to backstage. These fools back there smoking cigarettes. They are uh, counting the money. I mean, they count money, you know. Separating. You get your part, you get your part. And, uh, and I was like, wow, this is all... And then you got another part that my man goes and he's singing. And he's like, thank you, Jesus, for the money you give me. And he's uh, putting money on the bed like a stripper, man. Like pouring it out of a, out of a bag. And he's like, boy, the Lord bless me tonight. And it's like, and I don't even think he believed in God. And they show him going to interact with other churches. And him... Going to these churches and, and and these people looking at him at the table and they're like, man, we could tell you one of the good ones, cause you know we could we could, we could, we could point out a fake. And my man's like, yeah, you know, I'm you know he's solid. Crazy, that was nuts. But what I get from that is how bold that man was, and how bold the other side is, meaning. Atheists or people who just teach this false narrative about Christianity And if we don't question it Like say if nobody questions that guy You know what I'm saying And we just Oh he's part of the fellowship He's part of the brotherhood No If someone is teaching error like that And if the body doesn't correct our, If we don't correct our own right then who's to stop that man from even doing that? Or who's the point? You know what I'm saying? We just cannot be like, oh. And what uh, what it reminds me of too. And I don't like saying that because I like this guy so much, but it's true. John MacArthur, when he was uh, 
doing the uh, social justice movement. And he was at the thing with uh, Al Mola and them. And they didn't sign the petition that he had. And look, it ain't about what was right and what was wrong about that point right there. But John McCarthy made a statement about how he don't want to go against his friends in the midst that he don't think. And it's like, well, some things you might have to, brother. Like, some things you might have to. I'm not saying that issue was one. But the Bible separates. Surely it does. And what I seen out of that documentary was how bold these people are and how not bold I see a lot of Christians, right? I see a lot of Christians just, oh, well, I'm not a preacher. I shouldn't say nothing. You ain't got to be a preacher to stand for God because this is out. I'm telling you, man, I see so many people that don't believe in Christ. They so bold at what they say. Remember back in the day, man, you see Christians so Radical, so, and that's another thing. I say, all, I hear this all the time, man. They say, don't be so, man. All y'all fundamentally, fundamentalist Christians. Think about that. Don't be a fundamentalist. What do you mean? You want a doctor that's not don't, that don't believe in the fundamentals, the fundamentalist of being a doctor. You know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody. Like, think about that. Of course. You want to be a fundamentalist, man. You want to be steep in what you believe in, but separating truth from error. You know what I'm saying? But there's, no, I see a lot of people out there that's not really bold, that's Christians, and they just don't want to aggravate nobody, or they don't want to. They're like, man, I don't want to stir the pot. I don't want to. They stirring the pot. They stirring and like you ain't gotta fight. You, you can love and you but you could debate at the same time. You could debate with love. And if it comes to that, you could back, you know, say like, you know, I'm not trying to fight nobody over this, but listen, man, this is the only time that you will be able to defend Christ, defend your faith for Christ. It's on this earth. This is the only time you're gonna be able to suffer. This is the only time you're gonna be able to do anything for Christ. Cause once we get to heaven, it's over. And you're going to be surrounded by people that's giving their lives for Christ. And they, they, didn't, take, they didn't take a back seat. And I'm, I'm, I'm scared for this generation because I see a lot of, we just passing it by. We passing it by, man. We ain't leaving, we ain't passing no torch on to nobody, right? And then we got young kids coming up. Like I told my man, I said, listen, bro, we got the kids watching us. Remember how we said our grandparents in the, uh, like, I would like to know where my family members was, what they were doing during the slave trade or, or during all that stuff going on, like what side they were on. You know, they probably was, was on the, the wrong side, knowing the majority of the people, right? But I would, I don't want my son like, like man, what side you on? Cause this is another thing. For one, they're not listening anyway. They're just listening to what they want to hear. My son asked me this. He says, "Yeah, but I was was disagreeing about something about Trump." And he said, "Yeah, but don't you agree? Don't you don't you support him?" I'm like, "Oh, see, you're not listening." Because I defended a few things that I agree with my man Trump about, he thinks I support him. And I had a lot of friends do that to me too. They're like, listen, I support his stance on gay marriage. I support his stance on abortion. Uh, keeping America safe with the wall and things like that. I support that. Say, man, it, 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 it gets gray after that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not voting for that dude. There's not really many I vote for. I've never voted for none of them. But what I'm saying is I agree. Because to me, if you cannot see that a child is in the womb, then I don't know where your mind is. That, 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 if you cannot see that that's a child in that womb, then I don't know if I can trust your judgment on anything. Right? Because if you can't see that, what can you see? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's scary to me. 
Like Obama was asked that question, he was like, it's a little above my pay grade. Say, man, you got two girls. You watched your, your, your wife give birth to two kids and that's, 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 that's your words? That's above your pay grade? But yeah, check out that documentary, man, by a guy named, man, his name, I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, but it's Moore Jor Gartry, and that's gonna stun you, my man. But we need to be bold and, and preach against that. You know, we need more bold Christians preaching against that and uh, preaching against the things of this world because, man, it, the people that's against that, against Christianity, they real bold. They're not biting their tongue for nobody. You will listen or you will back up. And that's just how it is. Later.